Patrick Tannis, Dahl Scientific Advisor, Day 1 on Planet Pandora. I've been assigned to the sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins of Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this, but my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists don't chase myths and legends. Day 43 on Pandora. At least I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dick site only to be ambushed by the local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name is Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. In fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because... His chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns at the site, we have finally unearthed an arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life actually having been here on Pandora, but this celebration was lonely as I only have two colleagues left, and I'm not too fond of the fat girl Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never really understood what they meant until now. Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction. I imagined it to be a conversation as I knew it would be the last I would have for quite a while. When I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research, I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. Patrick Tannis, Chief Scientific Advisor, Dog Corporation, Day 224. The only conversations I have anymore with this echo recorder. I've developed a relationship with it. Some cycles I sleep with it, and others I make it stay outside my tent. My waning ability to discern logic from insanity is becoming cumbersome. I've been translating Iridian writing in between arguing with the recorder. She went off for a few hours during my last sleep cycle. I heard you sneak out. If I were to pontificate, I would infer that the Iridian writings show a class-based society that was quite capable of both leadership and of armed conflict. 321st day. As I work, I spend the majority of my days having conversations with people that are not there. Two days ago, I explained to my mother how the translation program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this Iridian text I've attempted to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years, and she was never actually interested in science to begin with. I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here, putting up with her until I find out exactly where the vault is, or until I drive myself so far off the edge I don't remember why I was doing this in the first place. <laughs> this is exciting. I think I might strip naked and run around to celebrate, but I'll do it during a dim cycle for fear of prying eyes. 
Before overloading and melting four of my computer's 13 qubit operators, my program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I had been able to before. It would take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not quite unlike a circle with an upside down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault, and something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner, I will have eggs. Day 481. It's true. It's all true. My program did it. Program. Program. <laughs> I, I'm now certain that the vault is here and that the symbol has something to do with opening it. I've checked and triple checked my findings and it all seems to make sense. It looks like there are extreme measures to keep the vault secure, but it, that it can be opened every 200 years. The vault's contents must be extremely valuable, maybe even better than the Atlas tech, but I cannot reveal this information to anyone yet. If I'm wrong, I'm done, and if I'm right, the suits will claim it. I must find the vault myself. Find. Find. Day 493. Doll Corporation just shut down their mining operations here on Pandora. I think they are insane, or whoever is making the decision is insane. Iridium mining on this planet has been hugely lucrative for Dahl and has funded my project. It's been especially profitable given how low their labor costs are. I wonder what Dahl will do with all the unpaid convicts they've been using to work their mines. I wonder if any of them will be my friend. What? Why are you always so jealous of me getting new friends? Ugh, I'm turning you off. Day 578. I haven't slept in three days. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Carabus Arunitans and ending with a dessert of Tetrix Undulata. The information I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event, an event I believe to be the opening of a vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore, but I wish her the best, and we remain friends so that I can keep recording these messages. She agreed, because we need to complete what we set off to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a myth, it's real. Day 616. Sometimes I wish I'd never been given this assignment, and never come to Pandora. Dahl has asked me to leave. The transmission said that it's time to go. Everyone has left, except the criminals who they've set loose. They won't be my friends. So... I decided to return to leave as Dahl is ordered, but then I found something. I think it's a key to the vault. It proves the vault is real and that it's here on Pandora and that it can be mine. I also learned that by my calculations, we are near the 200th anniversary of the last vault opening, within half a year, approximately. If I leave now, I will never make it back in time. I will stay. Maybe one of the convicts will be my friend. Day 653. Today is my birthday. I've been alone for an incalculable amount of time. A convict accidentally crossed over to my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this because of the human contact, no matter how awkward it would have been nice. I've decided that his name was Leslie and that he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun of him for having a girl's name, and the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and debauchery. There was a tattoo on his bum that looked not quite unlike the name Patrick. I might have imagined the tattoo. The experience compelled me to move the vault key fragment I found so that it can be safe. It's extremely important. So I've given it to the man known as Crazy Earl. He's not crazy. He just doesn't like people. The vault key will be safe with him. I also gave him my underwear. Day 684. I seem unable to leave the camp anymore. I've collected all the information I need to be able to find the vault, but I am overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines. I believe I have some kind of psychosis. Whatever it is, I am a prisoner of my own jail, and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party. I'll put out feelers to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. Perhaps I could send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Some company would be lovely. Day 718. I woke up outside the camp today. I don't know how I got outside, but I seem to have overcome my inability to leave. This will be my last recording before I scatter the echo recordings as far as I can. My echo recorder has clearly gone crazy, and if I'm not careful, I too might go insane. <laughs> I will come back and resume my research whenever I've rid myself of this two-timer recorder. This is Patrick Tannis, signing off.